is a quick unboxing video of the Everspring HSP02. This is a Z-Wave motion and light sensor and uh, we're just going to take a look inside today and see what you get in the box. So let's have a look. There's no packaging particularly um, to have a look at. Like most Z-Wave devices, um, it's fairly basic on the outside. Um, if we open it up, you'll find that there's fairly decent and hefty set of instructions uh, that you get with the device. There's also the detector itself, so we'll have a look at that in more detail in a second. And finally, inside the box, we've got uh, what looks to be some screws, a battery and a sticky pad. So we'll have a look at uh, all that now. So in terms of the detector itself, um, it's relatively small. If I just um, show you my iPhone, um, you can see it's an iPhone 5 and um, size for size it's, uh, it's relatively compact uh, against the iPhone. It's much shorter there um, just in terms of um, thickness. Uh, hopefully, whoops, hopefully you can see that there uh, and it's about, it's probably about as wide as uh, a little bit wider than, uh, than an iPhone 5. So hopefully that gives you some indication of size of the device. If we just take a look around at the device, um, obviously you've got the, um, the sensor area here across the front. It looks like most standard home alarm sort of uh, motion sensors. And on the back uh, there are no holes or switches or buttons or anything. The only other feature really is this service screw here, uh, which is a posi drive or Phillips. And uh, that's where we'd go inside to install the battery. And I'm hoping that's where the uh, inclusion switch would be. I can't see any tamper um, devices here or anything, but with it being a motion sensor, it'd be qu quite difficult to tamper with this without the sensor actually going off. Okay, so if we just open up this package here, um, just have a look and see a little bit more detail what we've got inside. So there's a, a sticky back. Uh, which I assume is if you're just going to put it on a flat wall you'll stick that to the wall and then stick it on there. It's not a very heavy device so that should be more than enough to stick it on. Um, also you've got the battery and the battery that comes with it uh, is a CR2. It's a 3 volt battery and it's lithium so you should get some decent life out of that battery there. And finally you get um, two screws and two uh, wall plugs. So my guess is that um, you decide how you're going to attach this to the wall so you can drill through those two to use the two screws and have it flat against the wall um, if necessary there's another two there um, you've also got angled um, chamfered edges here so I'm guessing that so that it would fit 45 degrees against a wall corner and you'd use this hole and this hole to attach it uh, 45 degrees from, uh, from the corner of a, of a wall there a um, bit of a shame that you have to actually drill these through yourself um, they're not even pop out so you're going to need a few tools there if you do want to make use of, uh, of those screw holes uh, to get you going but there you go that's the um, HSP02 motion detector it's uh, from Everspring and um, these retail I think they retail around the sort of £40 mark um, from various uh, shops in Europe um, we got ours from uh, Vestanet.com. Um, we actually this time uh, decided to order just using their uh, standard postage, which if you spend over a certain amount is free. And uh, it actually arrived, I think we had it posted Thursday and it's arrived today, Saturday morning. So that's fantastic. Uh, we're really pleased with the service from Vestanet, so uh, can recommend them if you're thinking of looking to get into Z-Wave or any of the other home automation and technologies. So thanks for watching this unboxing video. We've got loads more videos on our YouTube channel, Today's Top Tech, and uh, on our website, www.todaystoptech.com. Send questions to at Today's Top Tech on Twitter, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you soon.